There are few players in NFL history that have been as electric as Josh Cribbs and Devin Hester. Both are some of the best returners to ever play, with statistics that could put them in the Hall of Fame for their positions. The even stranger part is that both players were in their prime around the same time, competing to be the return king for several years. Today we explore their stat similarities, stylistic differences, and ultimately, their competition to be the best return man of their era and possibly NFL history. Josh Cribb's path to an exciting returner is a little different than you might expect. Growing up in Washington, D.C., Cribbs played quarterback at Dunbar High School and actually threw passes to future San Francisco 49ers tight end Vernon Davis. During Cribb's time at Dunbar, he won three consecutive DCIAA football titles at the position, and although he played quarterback, a position known for more intelligence than athleticism, he did show glimpses of his athletic talent as he excelled in baseball, swimming, and basketball in addition to football. Cribbs and went on to attend Kent State University, where he continued to play quarterback. He tore it up, and to this day, he still holds the all-time total offense school record with 10,839 yards, while also setting impressive school records including rushing touchdowns, pass completions, pass attempts, passing yardage, and touchdowns scored. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Cribs is so dynamic that he's the only player in CAA history to lead his team in both rushing and passing touchdowns in four different seasons. Although his 2003 single-season school record of 3,125 combined yards was eclipsed in 2008 by another famous quarterback turned receiver, Julian Edelman. Even with all these accolades and records, Cribbs was not chosen in the 2005 NFL Draft. However, he was signed as an undrafted free agent by the Cleveland Browns on April 29, 2005. He made the Browns roster for the 2005 season and made an immediate impact as a kick returner. He averaged 24.5 yards per return and a total of 1,094 return yards set a franchise record that year. Cribbs was a diamond in the rough, an unlikely kick returner given his former days as a quarterback. While Cribbs was busy building his career, Devin Hester was doing the same. Hester attended high school in South Florida where he played football as a cornerback, wide receiver, return specialist, and running back. He earned recognition from superprep.com as the top high school prospect in Florida and was considered a five-star recruit by Rivals.com, listed as the second best cornerback in the nation in 2002. Hester was also a standout track athlete. While at Suncoast, he received All-American accolades and ranked second nationally in the long jump as a junior. After high school, Hester enrolled at the University of Miami, where he played for the Miami Hurricanes football team from 2003 to 2005. As a sophomore in 2004, he earned national recognition as a kick returner after being named a first-team All-American by the Walter Camp Football Foundation and the Sporting News. His ability to thrust laterally and break away from pursuers made him one of the nation's most dangerous return specialists. Ultimately, Hester completed his college career at Miami with a total of six touchdowns from kick returns, including one blocked field goal return. He also recorded an impressive five receptions as a defensive back, proving he was an all-around athlete who could make his presence known anywhere on the field. Hester began his professional career with the Chicago Bears, who selected him in the second round of the 2006 NFL Draft with the 57th overall pick as a cornerback a stark difference from Cribbs' draft results. The team's decision to draft Hester was initially criticized by fans and sports analysts who believed that the Bears should have spent their early picks on offensive prospects. But soon, Hester's efforts would prove fans wrong. He finished his rookie year by accumulating three touchdowns for 600 yards on 47 punt returns and two touchdowns for 528 yards on 20 kick returns thus making him one of the league's most productive kick and punt returners. He was so productive, in fact, that even without taking an offensive snap prior to week 14, Hester was the Bears' second leading scorer behind kicker Robbie Gold. 
and just when you thought you saw the greatest special team season of all time. Hester gave us the memorable 2007 campaign, finishing the season with six kicks returned for touchdown, which set a league record. By the end of his first two seasons, Hester had returned seven punts and four kickoffs for touchdowns, already ranking fourth on the league's all-time combined kick return list. After the acquisition of Jay Cutler in 2008, Hester took on the role as the de facto number one wide receiver, which was great for his offensive numbers, but took a negative effect on his return stats as he didn't take one to the house. Meanwhile, Josh Krebs was becoming a household name for his kick return abilities. He was able to take a kick return back every year for his first five years in the league. Touchdown, he even took two back Josh in one game Krebs, in 2009 the against the Kansas City Chiefs. Krebs also had a great kick return average, although he had minimal success returning punts due to his lack of punt return experience. Regardless, Krebs was now one of the most electric players in the league. He was taking kicks back at a blistering pace and got a lot of attention in the media for it. Meanwhile, Hester had several years go by with mild success returning kicks, but in 2011, Hester became the NFL's all-time leader in punt return touchdowns with 11 when he returned a punt 69 yards for a touchdown against the Carolina Panthers, surpassing Eric Metcalf's record. Into the open field, and this will be a record for Devin Hester. No penalty flag, 69 yards. And after a few less productive seasons with the Bears, Hester signed a three-year contract with the Atlanta Falcons in 2014. In 2014, Hester brought back a 62-yard punt return for his 20th career touchdown return, breaking the record for career non-offensive touchdowns he previously shared with Deion Sanders. This is notable because it was the last time either player would record a return touchdown. And although they played for several seasons, they eventually fizzled out of the league with Cribs retiring in 2016 as a Brown, playing his last game for the Colts in 2014, and with Hester retiring in 2017 after a brief stint with the Seattle Seahawks. Cribs would later go on to coach in the Browns organization and is now a host of his own successful TV show, Cribs and the CLE, Josh and Maria Live on Cleveland 19. Hester, meanwhile, lives a quiet life but will never be forgotten as one of the NFL greats. Strictly speaking, Hester and Krebs had almost identical percentages of kick returns for touchdowns when compared to total kick returns fielded. Meanwhile, Hester blew everyone out of the water as a punt returner with 14 punt return touchdowns in his career, three in his rookie season. To put that into perspective, Krebs had had a total of three punt return touchdowns in his entire career. The reason why these two are the centerpiece of our episode of Famous Feuds is not because of any beef between them, but because of their stark differences. Hester was a second round pick, while Cribs was signed as an undrafted free agent. Hester had massive success returning kicks and punts in college, while Cribs most likely never returned a kick or punt before the NFL due to his rather protected quarterback position in high school and college. Hester was known for his speed and sharp cuts while returning kicks while Cribs took a more physical, straightforward approach. Regardless of the differences in their careers or styles, both men defined what a big time returner could do, seemingly willing to take one to the house on command. Both have shattered multiple records and redefined the game, making returner an important position. Unfortunately, most records will never be broken again due to the NFL's rule changes regarding kickoffs meant to reduce helmet-to-helmet -helmet collisions starting in 2012. Which player is more electrifying? Who is more important to their teams? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Famous Views.